Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. Now in this video, we will design this header. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in VS Code and uh, here this is the app.jsx file. And here we have imported all these components in the previous video. So let's go ahead and start writing the code for the header component. So let's go over here to components and let's open the header component. So it is inside header, header.jsx. So let's remove this uh, text from here and for the header we will have a header tag. So let's change this div into a header. Right now in this header, let's go ahead and let's go to our design and let's see what we need to have. The first thing we need to have is a container division which has a fixed width. So here we can see for each of these sections we have a fixed width. So here we can see this is the width of this section. We have the same width for all these sections. So what we will do is we'll create a division with the class of wrapper and we will add that division to all these sections. So let's do that. So let's create a division and uh, we will give it a class name. So you need to type class name over here instead of class and here we'll just type wrapper. Now in this division we will have all the content. So the first thing we need to have is uh, this text right here called sound design master class. So let's go ahead and create a paragraph and let's give it a class name of course name. And here let's type sound design master class. Now if we go back to our design, here we can see it says sound design master class. All right, the next thing we need to have is uh, this text right here called learn the art of sound design. And for that, we'll create an H1. So let's create an H1 over here. And let's type learn the art of sound design. And the next thing we need to have is this button right here, which has a text of demo lesson. So let's create an anchor tag for the button. And for the href, I'll just type hash for now. And even for this, let's give it a class name of demo btn. And here, let's type demo lesson. Now if you go back to our design, this is how it looks. Right now let's start styling this. So let's go back to our VS code. Now before writing the CSS for the header, let's write some common CSS that will be used throughout the website. So we will add that CSS inside the index.css file. So here the first thing we will do is we'll create variables for the colors. So if we go back to our Figma design and uh, if we scroll up, here we can see we have these colors being used in our design. So we can go ahead and create variables for these colors. This is the black color, so we don't need to create variable for this. And this is the white color. So we'll just create variables for these four colors. So let's select this first color and uh, let's copy this hex code from here. And let's go back to our index.css file. And we'll create all the variables inside the root. So let's type colon root. Now this can be accessed throughout the website. So let's create the variable. Now to create a variable, you can just type hyphen hyphen and the name of the variable. I'll just name it dark color. And let's set it equal to the code that we copied. Right now, let's go ahead and create the variable for this red color. So let's copy this hex code from here. And uh, let's create a variable called red color. And let's set it equal to the hex code. And then we need to have the variable for this color right here. So let's copy this code from here. And I'll just call this color pink color. And I'll just copy the code over here. And then lastly, we have this yellow color. So let's copy this hex code. And let's type yellow color. And let's copy the code over here. Now the next thing we will do is we will set the box sizing to border box for all the elements so that we have the correct height and width for all the elements. Now if you want to know more about border box, I have a video on that. You can check that out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's select all the elements. You can just type asterisk. And let's also select the after and the before elements. So let's type asterisk, colon, colon, after, and asterisk, colon, colon, before. And let's set the box sizing to border box. Now the next thing we will do is we will set the margin of the body to zero. So right now we can see in the website, we have this margin over here. So I'll just remove the margin. So let's type body. And let's set the margin to zero. Now we can see we don't have any margin. And let's also set a default font. So let's type font family and let's set it to enter and sans serif. 
right now the next thing we will do is we will style the wrapper division and the wrapper division will be inside all the sections so i'll just add the css over here so let's type dot wrapper and for the wrapper we will set a max width so if we go back to our figma design and uh, if we take a look at this navigation bar here we can see it has a width of 1024 pixels now this nav bar has the same width of the wrapper so let's go back to our wrapper and here i'll just type max width and I'll just set it to 1024 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And the last thing we will do over here in this index.css file is we will remove the underlines from all the anchor tags. So here we can see for the anchor tag, we have this underline. So I'll just type A and text decoration and set it to none. And now we don't have underlines for the anchor tags. Right now let's start adding the styles for the header. So we will go to the header.css file and we will add all the styles for the header over here so that all the CSS in our project is uh, organized. So the first thing we will do is target the header and uh, we will set the mean height of the header to 100 viewport height which is 100% height of the browser window. So now if you go back to our design, we can see that the header has the full height and uh, we'll also set the width to 100%. And now we need to add a background image. So in our design, we can see that we have this background image. So we will add the background image over here in the header. So let's tap background and I'll just set it to URL. And for the background image, let's get the link of the background image. So I have saved it as heroimage.jpg. So this is the image. Now here we need to type dot dot forward slash because this is outside this header folder. And now we also need to go outside this components folder. So let's type dot dot forward slash. Now we need to go into the assets folder. And in that we have the hero image.jpg. Right now let's set the background size. And let's set the background size to cover. And let's set the background position. And let's set it to center. And now if you go back to our design, this is how it looks. Right now the next thing we will do is we will style all this content over here. And we need to bring it to the bottom right corner over here. So we will set the position of this to absolute. Let's go to the header component and I'll just wrap all of this inside another division. So let's create a division and uh, I'll just give it a class of CTA for call to action and uh, cut this ending tag from here and paste it over here. Right now let's go ahead and set the position of this wrapper inside the header to relative so that this CTA will be positioned relative to this wrapper. So let's type header wrapper and let's set the position to relative. And now let's style the CTA division right here. So let's type header CTA and let's set the position to absolute and we will set the bottom position to zero and the right position to zero. Now if you go back to our website, we can see that the content is not being displayed over here. That's because we don't have a height assigned to this wrapper. So let's set the height to 100 viewport height. And now we can see that the content is displayed over here on the bottom right corner of the screen. Right now let's add some styles. So let's go back to the Figma file and let's select this uh, rectangle. And now if you go to this inspect tab and if you scroll down, here we have the CSS that we can add to our website. So right now the width is set to 453 pixels. I'll just round it to 450 pixels. So let's go to our CSS and uh, let's set the width to 450 pixels. And then we have the background color and uh, then we have the border width and then we have the border style, border color and all of these over here. So let's copy all these from here and I'll just paste it over here. Now if you go back to our design, this is how it looks right now. We also need to add border radius. So here we can see we have a border radius of 20 pixels for these two corners and zero for bottom left and bottom right. So let's copy this line of code and I'll just paste it over here in the CSS. So now we have the border radius. Now let's add some padding. So if we take a look at this design here, we can see on the left side and the right side, we have a padding of 40 pixels. And on the top, we have a padding of 50 pixels. So let's go back to our CSS and let's type padding and let's set it to 50 for top and bottom. 
and 40 pixels for left and right. So now we have the padding. But now let's style this uh, course name. So if you go to the header component, here we can see we have this paragraph with the class name of course name. So let's style that. Let's go to the Figma file and let's double click on this text. And here we can see this is the CSS for this text. So here we have the font family set to enter. But uh, if you go to the index.css file, here we have already set the font family to enter by default. So we don't need to add that style. Let's go back and uh, we need to copy the font weight, the font size. So let's copy these two lines of code and let's paste it for the course name. So let's select this. Let's type header CTA course name and let's paste the styles over here and we'll also set the color of the text to white and uh, this is how it looks. Now if you go to the Figma file here we also have this underline. So for that we will use the after selector. Let's go back to our CSS and let's type header CTA course name colon colon after and uh, let's type content. So for the after element we need to have a content property. So if we just type something over here and if you go to the website here we can see after our element we have the text displayed. So with the after selector you can add extra information to your content. So I'll just delete it from here and we will add a rectangle. So for that we need to set the position of the course name to relative so that we can position this uh, after selector relative to this course name. So let's type position relative and here we need to type position absolute and let's go back to our Figma file and let's select this rectangle and we can see it has a width of 60 pixels and a height of 4 pixels. So let's copy these two styles and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, let's set the background color to var and we have created this uh, variable and it is called red color. So let's add that over here, red color. And we'll set the left position to zero and the bottom position to, let's try negative 10 pixels. Right now let's go back to our design and this is how it looks. So it looks all right. Now let's style this H1. So let's go back to our JSX file and uh, for the H1, we don't have any class. We can just reference it from the CTA. So let's type header CTA H1. And now let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's select this heading and let's go to the inspect and let's scroll down and uh, let's copy the CSS from here. So we need to have the font family set to Allegra and all these styles over here. So I'll just copy these from here and uh, let's paste it over here. And we can just remove this font style normal from here. And uh, for the line height, let's add a percentage value. For now, let's go back and uh, this is how it looks right now. So it looks all right. Let's change this into a percentage value. So I'll just change it to, let's try 120% or 140%. And I think that looks all right. Now the last thing we need to style is this button. So let's go back to our component. And for the button, we have this anchor tag with the class name of demo BTN. So let's target that over here. I'll just type header CTA demo BTN. And uh, let's go back to our Figma file. Let's double click on this rectangle for the button. And here we have the styles for the button. So here we need to copy the border radius and uh, let's paste it over here. And we need to set the background color to the red variable. Then we need to set the color of the text to white. And let's see how it looks right now. Right now let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's select this uh, text. And here we can see we have a padding of 10 pixels at the top and 32 pixels on the left and the right. So let's add the padding. Let's type padding of 10 pixels and 32 pixels. And now let's see the styles for the font. So for the font we have font weight of 700 and the font size of 16 pixels. So let's copy these two lines of code and uh, let's paste it over here. Let's go back to the index.html file and let's see the fonts that we have imported. So we have imported Allegria 400 and 700 and for the enter we have imported 600 and 800. So we need to change this to 800. Right now let's go back to our design and this is how it looks. 
so everything looks all right so with that we have completed designing the header all right that's basically it for this video in the next video we will style the nav bar and uh, we will make it look like this so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day